hopefully. That's not too blurry. My camera keeps flickering. Hi. <laughs> so this is my follow up, follow up? This is my video about sleeping masks. I really like sleeping masks a lot. I like something that's gonna sink in, you don't have to wash it off, and you wake up with amazing skin the next day. It's like an overnight miracle. I currently have just my like acid kind of toner thing on right now. Um, I'm letting that sink in and I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare, but this is my skin right now. Um, it's pretty good. I have like, wait it's gone, I have a breakout here, my chin's purging from the acid. Um, probably really hard to see because yeah, the lighting's kind of sucky. <laughs> I don't really have much natural lighting to work with right now. Anyways, sleeping masks. Love them. Highly recommend them, especially for dry or dehydrated skin. Um, yeah. Let us get into it. The first one I'm going to talk about is the newest one in my collection. It is the Youth to the People Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. I have used this actually quite a bit. <laughs> I just got it, I want to say like a week and a half ago. Oh, I love the smell. It's like a really bright yellow, but it smells very citrusy. It is like butter when it goes onto your skin. It is so soft feeling. It feels so hydrating and just feels so good. It feels like putting butter on your skin without the greasy mess. Um, I find a little goes a long way with this. Like, I think that will last quite a bit. I really was skeptical, skeptical about buying this tiny little jar for, I want to say $60 or whatever it was. But I'm probably going to repurchase it <laughs> as long as it keeps working for me. Because it is so good. It feels awesome on the skin. The next day when I woke up, my skin was a bit glowier than usual. But it just felt good. I actually don't know what this is. Mass Masky and Vitamin C, Squalene, and Hydrolonic Acid. Pretty sure this one is a clean product. Oops. I don't have the packaging with me. But anyways, definitely recommend that guy. We are not going to talk about the time. I just woke up. I slept in so late. Um... This is my skin, waking up with that mask. It is pretty glowy. It's really hard to see in the camera, but I'm also really pale. Um, one thing I do like about it is that it really tones down the redness of my breakouts. Um, I'm gonna quickly wash my face. I'll be back because it's probably like a little sweaty because it's warm out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just, I don't use soap in the morning, I just use water and I just rinse my face. My skin is very, very smooth. Right here, like I almost look poreless right here. Next is the one I've been looking for quite a while. It is the Cora Organics Noni Glow. First of all, package is beautiful and simple. It is like a gel. Not really any smell. I, how do I, use, I use this one in place of a moisturizer. Usually, unless my skin is really dry, then I will put a moisturizer and then this. Um, your skin is quite shiny after. A little tacky. Nothing crazy. I don't find that it like rubs off from my pillow or anything. I mean, unless you're going to bed right away. Um, but in the morning, I notice a huge difference with this. Just my skin is overall even, even and glowy. I don't know, but I got this for my birthday. 
It's another one. I bet I would struggle to decide on which one of these two to repurchase because they're both about the same price point. Um, I've had this since March. I want to say it's still like half on it and that's from using it like almost every night. Just crazy. So this is my skin after the Noni Glow face mask. You can see that it doesn't really tone down the redness as much as the other one did. Um, <clears throat> but you still get a pretty good glow happening. Hi Bella. Hi Bella. Hi. Anyway. I can't wait for this purge to be over. It's driving me crazy. Um, yeah. And I will talk to you later with another mask. This one. This next one is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is the trial size. There was so much like influencer hype. Influencer? I say influencer because I have an influencer account. Influencer hype? Um, I don't know. I really wanted it when it first came out and like the other products they have I kind of want to try. I think it's their packaging. I just love the packaging. The mask, it feels super hydrating. I'm not big that it smells like peppermint. I love peppermint, but to me that seems like something that would be an irritant to your skin. Like it, I don't put it near my eyes, like I put it here, but I can still smell the peppermint in my eyes. Feel the peppermint like fumes. I don't know. It's not like, whoops, the strongest. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh boy. It's kind of come out. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, what did I do? It is, it is not my favorite. I'm glad I didn't purchase the full size. Because it's not going to be one that I'm reaching for. Like, it is very, like, soft. It almost has, like, a slip to it, like silicone. But I'm pretty sure that's a clean product, too. Actually, most of these are. <laughs> but, like, I love the peppermint smell. To me, that's like a foot cream. If I don't use this on my face, I'm going to use it on my feet. This is my skin this morning. Um, it doesn't look a whole lot different. <laughs> it feels, what well, felt moisturized when I woke up, but now it feels actually quite dry. <laughs> oh, that didn't tone down the redness at all. Not that it claims to, but I just thought that would be a nice perk. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. That might be like a daytime kind of mask, like wear it in the morning, let it sink in. Yeah, I like my other masks a lot better than I have. I'm gonna go rinse it off and I'll be right back. Yeah, I don't feel like that does like anything for my skin. <laughs> this one, this is my other love, this is my this is my first introduction to sweeping masks, and I love it. This is my second jar of the full one. I've had a trial one as well. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask. First of all, it smells like watermelon. But this is so hydrating on my skin. I can notice a huge difference the next morning when I wake up. It's just like, just so smooth feeling. Like it really helps your texture. Um, it doesn't do too much for redness or anything, but it is like an exfoliator. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what else to say, but I just really love this mask. Yeah, I don't know what I would repurchase. Probably all of them, the th like my three ones, because I just love them. Like the packaging is beautiful. This thing lasts you like, when I was using it every day for a while, my last one, I think it was like six months that lasted me. I don't even know how long it's supposed to be, but anyway, love, love, love. Morning. So this is my skin after the watermelon sleeping mask. It's very soft as usual. Sometimes you can notice like the mask peeling. Um, 
not today. This thing is starting to come to a head. These still all look the same, but my skin is quite soft. And I'm just gonna go rinse that off. Alright. <laughs> that guy's coming to head too. Breaking with a lot of my cheeks lately. I think it's because I've been talking on the phone a lot more. And I switch from each side, so I should probably clean it. But yeah, my skin looks very clear minus like the breakouts I'm actually having. I don't have a mirror, that's why I'm walking in the viewfinder. But I cannot wait for this to go away. But yeah, if you look at me like from here up, looks good. <laughs> Next one, last one, is the Cosrx Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. This is a newer one to me, I've used it a few times. And it is just like a super hydrating overnight cream. Super moisturizing, no smell. Oh, that's the peppermint from the other one. No smell, but it's super moisturizing. I wore this one last night and this morning I woke up. My skin was very hydrated. Oh, and I noticed it was brighter. That was it. That's what I noticed. You'll see in the clip, I, I really, I start to notice my skin was brighter. I couldn't remember that. It was just this morning. Okay. So this, this is my skin after that rice mask. The lighting is all weird. Um, it feels normal. The redness is sort of gone here. And this has definitely shrunk. Um, so I've just washed my face. And you know what? After rinsing that off, my skin actually looks a little brighter. Are you supposed to brighten? It is. There you go. But yeah, I quite like that. Um. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that was a huge thing. It was like the brightening. I think it must come from the rice. I don't know. But that's a really good one. Um, this one's probably one of the best ones, like for price. I really suggest that if you have dry skin and are trying to get into sleeping masks, maybe start with this and see if you even like sleeping masks. If you like that, then I would say like, I don't know, I don't even know, because they all do such different things. A lot of them are going for the glow, because I like the natural glow. I know there's so many other sleeping masks probably out there, but these are the ones I've tried and like my top favorites. Really, and I'm getting ready for bed. Oh yeah, I'm in my PJs. And I'm gonna go apply a sleeping mask because I wear one just about every night. I love them. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions or recommendations for other sleeping masks to try, just leave it in the comments below. I will talk to you soon.